Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog today just because I got an HLJ box that I've had. A bunch of stuff in my kind of private warehouse sitting waiting to ship all at once. Um, also real quick I thought I would just show these off. I found these at my local Toys R Us. Um, the Series 15 Lego minifigure packs. So I got eight more of these. I'm hoping that I have all of them. Uh, I'll do some more pack opening videos for them uh, sometime soon. Just kind of been a crazy week. I really wanted to be caught up with everything I have before I got to this box of stuff. It just didn't really work out that way. Um, I was trying to do two videos a day just to catch everything up, but I still have a few things. Um, so I'm hoping to kind of really kind of bulldoze through them and then get to this new stuff here. Um, so that way I can eventually get caught up on everything, but there's a lot of good stuff coming out all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this box. Here we go. It's a weird packing label thing I'm trying to get through. Sorry, I'm going to lift this up. Hopefully this does not knock over my camera. That would be bad. All right, packing material, packing material. Hooray, hooray. All right, so there's definitely a lot of Common Rider Ghost stuff in here. Uh, first up right on top is the DX Tokon Boost Ghost Icon, which I realize at this point is kind of old. Um, but like I said, this stuff I think came out like mid-January, and I've just kind of been holding off on shipping it all for a while because I had so much backlog to get through anyway, I figured there was no rush. I also got from Hobby Link the magazine that comes with the EU, EQ, sorry, EQ Ghost Icon, which is pretty neat. And I'm excited to take a look at this magazine. It's got some pretty cool stuff. It's got some Yokai Watch, some Kamen Rider Ghost. Definitely got some Juoger stuff in there. So I'm excited to take a look at that. Also got the DX Machine Hoodie and Houdini Ghost Icon set. I'm excited to take a look at this as well. Uh, look at this as well. Pretty interesting. I do appreciate that you can take the hoodie out of the motorcycle so he doesn't always have to have the whole thing on his back. But we'll take a look at that. That'll definitely get reviewed. Next up, we have the DX uh, Kamen Rider Necrom. What is this thing officially called? The Mega Router and Necrom Ghost Icon. So there's that. Hooray. Uh, I really like the design of Necrom. He's really cool. And you can see up here are the other two forms that he will eventually become. So I think that's pretty cool. The other two icons for these two forms just got released today. Uh, as I'm recording this, I literally just paid for them on Hobby Link. Uh, today being the fifth. Uh, next thing we got is the GC07 uh, Tokon Boost Ghost from the Ghost Change series. Excited about that. And then we have GC08. The, what is this, Goenma? How do you pronounce this? Is it on here? Goenmon Ghost and Ryoma Ghost Set. This looks really cool. I like this a lot. I'm excited to get to this. The colors look really nice with the red from Boost. And then the last thing we have is the DX Sunglass Slasher. Is it in frame? There you go. I'm also excited to play with this. I know a lot of people have kind of said it doesn't really do that much sound-wise. But it does come with the two icons, which I'm very excited to get. So yeah, this whole box is pretty much ghost stuff. Pretty, it's actually all ghost stuff, with the exception of, you know, Ju Yoder being in the magazine. That's pretty much the only thing that's not ghost. So, very ghost-heavy box, but I'm excited to check out all this new stuff. It all looks really cool. Uh, Ju Yoder stuff, Ju Oger, I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong. Ju Oger stuff uh, comes out next week, because this week, I guess technically tomorrow, is the last episode of Nin Ninja. I know a lot of people are excited about that. Uh, I'm kind of excited about it too, I have to admit. 
it's a shame about Nin Ninja. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to go into a whole Nin Ninja rant, but I feel like all the building blocks were there. The suits were cool. You know, the mecha was kind of cool. The villains were all right. Like, they're decent designs. I feel like they could have done more. All the building blocks were there. They just didn't really do anything with it. It just kind of decided to go Monster of the Week. Very episodic. Not really much of an overall plot, which is a shame because they really could have done something with it all the like i said all the building blocks were there they just gave up on it but it'll be interesting to see what saban does with it as ninja steel so i mean because there's not really a lot of plot he can pretty much do whatever he wants and there's like a game show aspect it's crazy we'll wait and see who knows could be awesome get this box out of the way uh so yeah that's pretty much it um a lot of ghost stuff to review still have uh one or two sentai items one or two Ultraman X items, Ninja Turtles, uh, a couple Transformers. I don't know if you guys care about Transformers or not. If you do want to see Transformers, I have uh, all the Combaticons except Onslaught, and I have Megatronus from Rid still floating around somewhere. So if you guys want to see that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. If you don't, I can skip it. I buy them for me. Uh, oh, I also have this. Excuse me, getting a little too close. I got the... Uh, double capsule toy ghost icon, which I like a lot. Uh, I'm having a real hard time getting a hold of the Gaim one because it's like a candy toy and it only comes one in a box of 10 and I don't want to buy a whole box of 10. I don't want to pay $30 for this thing. It's crazy. But then you look on eBay and they're going for like 25 with shipping. It's nuts. I don't know. <laughs> I, I really would like to get these because, like, Gaim and Drive and Forze and Wizard are all the most recent ones that I know and love and owes. So, I don't know. But I will be doing a review of this eventually because that I was able to get a hold of and it's really cool. Um, some Amiibo card stuff I have going on. Got a couple packs of them. It's getting to the point where I'm about halfway, you know, through my collection of Series 2 and it's getting to be more doubles than than non-doubles so I'm, i think i'm going to just try and trade for the rest we'll see how that goes um uh, also i bought another one of these these little amiibo card things off of amazon they started out at ten dollars the first one i bought was ten dollars and i didn't really think it was worth ten dollars but they're down to like five dollars now uh i think when i looked this morning they're even down to four so i mean for four bucks it's a decent little way to to hold your cards it feels flimsy, but once you get the cards in it, it definitely feels more solid, and I actually kind of like it. I mean, for four bucks, you can't go wrong. The European ones are going for like 20 plus. They're nice binders, but I just need something to hold my cards, and for four bucks, this gets the job done. So that's pretty much it. Uh, also, I do have going on on my Twitter. It's going to end Tuesday the 9th, but I am giving away one of the Iron Man uh, GameStop exclusive minifigures that you could only get for pre-ordering the Lego Marvel Avengers. So I am giving that away on my Twitter. If you want to enter that, go ahead and check out my Twitter. Um, and you can figure out how to enter for that. Like I said, it is going to end on Tuesday the 9th. That's this Tuesday coming up. So uh, I think that's everything I have to tell you guys. I'm excited for this new Ghost stuff. It all looks pretty cool. I'm definitely excited to get into those Lego minifigures because I think uh, they're going to be pretty awesome. I'm hoping I have all of them. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you're most excited to see out of this new ghost stuff. I will be getting to it soon, as soon as I kind of plow through the like four or five other things I still have to go on over here. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this Hobby Link unboxing, and uh, thanks for watching.